Let's get real. Let's start breaking the law. Today, I want to talk with you about extreme ownership. What does that mean? Well, let me first start with what it doesn't mean. A lot of people go through their lives blaming their circumstances, their consequences, their outcomes, and even their successes on things that are external to them, on other people, on their circumstances, on the universe. That just isn't so. We are a direct result and a direct product of the choices that we've made and the actions that we've taken. Coming to recognize that, coming to internalize it, and coming to believe that concept is what extreme ownership is all about. Uh, let me give you an example. You're late for a meeting. The natural tendency of most people is to blame traffic. If there was traffic or an email that you had to return or a phone call that interrupted your flow in the morning on your way out to the meeting, whatever it is, you know, you've heard, you've had that conversation with yourself. It's not my fault. It's the traffic. You were late as a direct consequence of your decision about what time to leave for your meeting. You were late as a direct consequence, consequence of your decision to answer the call. You were late as a direct consequence of your decision to look at that email and return it in that moment, knowing full well that you had a meeting set for a time certain out of the office with somebody important. It's no one else's fault but your own. It's no one else's responsibility but your own. You own the consequences of your actions, all of them. You own those consequences. The first level consequences, being late for the meeting. The second level consequences, not getting the job. The third level consequences, having to implement a budget or reduce your budget because you were late for the meeting, you didn't get the job or the client, and now your income is lower. They're all your consequences. They're all yours. The sooner you can implement the concept of extreme ownership, the sooner that you can understand the concept of extreme ownership, the sooner you can believe in the concept of extreme ownership, the better off you'll be. Because people who achieve greatness are those people who talk about extreme ownership. They own their stuff. Top to bottom, front to back, soup to nuts, A to Z. They own it. It's the only way to be great. What would your life be like if you had an extreme ownership mindset? What would it be like? What choices would you make knowing that you owned the consequences, good or bad, right or wrong? You own them. You couldn't blame other people. You couldn't blame your circumstances. And you couldn't blame the universe or anything else, all of the responsibility would lie within you. What choices would you make? How different would your life be if you had an extreme ownership mindset? Are you interested in talking about extreme ownership? Are you curious about how to adopt an extreme ownership mindset? Are you wondering how far off you are from the ideal in that mindset area? If so, reach out, give me a call, send me an email. Happy to connect, happy to talk with you about one of my passions, extreme ownership. At the end of the day, you own your stuff. Recognize it, believe it, and then act accordingly.